Later, 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 they deny, they, they deny the cause itself completely, which is kufr. Because they denied the article of faith, one of the article of faith. That you have to pay zakat also. This is one of the articles of faith. So Abu Bakr and Anu they fought against him and Alhamdulillah within two hour, within two years, majority of the Muslims who became murtad, apostates, they came back to the Islam, to the manhaj of Islam. They came back, Alhamdulillah. Then has Umar who at his time, because of the fear of Umar, the people of Mashan were hiding. They were they were they were there, the Munafiqin, people of desire, they were there, but they were hiding themselves. At the time of Uthman, Anhu, the Khawarij, they came with a strong group. They did Khuruj against Hazrat Uthman, Razal Anhu, and their Khuruj ended at the martyrdom of Hazrat Ali ibn Abi Talib, Razal Anhu. So at that time, the fitna had really started to grow. But until this, there is one very important issue. Why am I telling you all this? Why? Why am I telling you all this? Listen very carefully. The people who denied zakat, what is zakat? Money, worldly thing. Yes or no? Yes. So it was a denial of money. Money is what? World. Hazrat Umar ibn Khattab, he did not any, uh, had any fitna. At the time of the Khawarij, the people who did Khuruj again has Osman as Ali as Anu. What was the belief? Any person who did something, a major scene, he's a kafir and he must be killed. What is this? Amal. Amal is what? Of the world, dunya. So what was it? Khawarij also action. They were the they were against action. This is also worldly thing, your actions. Until this point, Ali ibn Abi Talib Anhu. No one had pointed the finger towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. None of the innovation was going towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It was only within this world. Over here. Later, people took the courage to raise the finger to the Rabbul Arsh al Azim, to the Lord of the Mighty Throne. Now they raise the finger to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What did they say? They thought whatever our minds accept allah can do it and whatever our mind do not accept allah cannot do it now now they started to raise a finger towards allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what they say they say whatever we think that yes it is possible allah can do that but ever but whatever we think it is not possible allah cannot do it like like now allah is holding their order now this is what they are saying that allah is following our orders so the first person who did this was Samson al Nasrani. He was a Christian. And all this information is uh, in uh, Al Bidaya wa Nihaya of Ibn Kathir, Rahmatullah. Alayhi. That Samson al Nasrani, he was a Christian, he became a Muslim. He started the fitna that Allah does not know what a person will do until Allah uh, until the person does it, does it. So they denied all the four articles of Qadr. What does it say? Allah does not know. Ilam rejected. Allah, uh, meaning in, in the, also in the writing, rejected. Allah has not written it. Allah will reject it. No. Allah does not know, then how can He will? Fourth, Allah creation? No. Because Allah does not create our actions. So they denied the Qadr in the whole. They are known as Al Qadriyat Al Ula, the first Qadriyya. What did He say? Allah does not know anything what a person will do until the person himself does it then Allah knows okay no I know that okay you have done this now they denied Qadr in total and the person who was preaching this Samsel al Nasrani he was the first person to do it because Christians are also the denial of Qadr the Christian these days the follow followers of the Messiah they also say that we create our own fate God does not create our fate. This is what they say. They all they, they deny Qadr. They don't believe in Qadr. And among the Muslims, among the Ahle Kalima, who was who were saying the Kalima, the first person was Ma'bad al Jihini. That he was the first person to deny. And the proof is in the hadith of Sayyid Muslim, the first hadith of Sayyid Muslim. It says Awwala uh, Awwala Nas. The first person to deny Qadr is Ma'bad al-Jihini. It says over there in the hadith of Sayyid Muslim. 
Now, remember this thing, why were the people following him? Why were the people following Ma'abad al-Jihini? Why were they doing it? Because for them, he was a scholar. How did he become a scholar? He is a person who, who reads Kalima. He is a person who is wearing the, the, what do you call that, the turban, turban. He is a person wearing turban. He is a person who has a big beard. He is a person whose clothes are above the ankles. He is a person of knowledge. He has learned Islam from the ulama. So we will follow him. We will follow him. So they started to follow him. Now when <coughs> Samsel al-Nasrani, he saw this, that what I wanted to preach, he's doing it, he left. And history did, does not know where did he go. He died, he was burned, he was drowned. Ibn Kathir, Rahmatullah said, there, was no, there is no trace of him. That where did he go? Allahu Alam. Only Allah knows the best. So, they denied the Qadr in the whole, in the total. After them, when the Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah, the people of the Sunnah, Ahl Hadith, they refuted this claim. They refuted, refuted. Now the second, Al Qadariyatu Thani, the second Qadariyah, second part of the Qadariyah, who were they? They were Amr, Amr bin uh, Ubaid and Wafil bin Ata. These were the two people. And I will come to detail who were they. They said, Okay, okay, we know that Allah has the knowledge. Now they accepted the first part. Allah has knowledge. Okay, we accept. Allah has written it down. Okay, we accept. But Allah does not create the action and Allah does not avail for the action because we will and we create our own action. So they twisted their belief to be on the safe side. They accepted the knowledge. Okay, Allah has the knowledge. We accept. They accepted Allah's written on. We accept. But Allah does not will for us anything and Allah does not create. Rather, we will and we create our own actions. So they denied the two and they accepted the two and there is no difference. Both the Qadriya al-Ula and Qadriya al thaniya both of them are wrong and are misguided. Because we have to accept all four of them. All four of the articles. We cannot say, okay, I accept the prayer, but I don't accept the zakat. No, you have to accept everything. Who were they? They were the Mu'tazila. These two people were the Mu'tazila. Amr bin Ubaid and Wafa bin Ata. They were the Mu'tazila. And you know who were they? They were the students of Al Hassan Al Basri, Rahmatullahi. The people who were learning knowledge from the al ulama al kabair one of the biggest ulama at that time that only imam malik rahmatullah was to his level no one else was to the level of al hasan al basri rahmatullah no one else at that time one of the biggest biggest ulama they, these two were their students what happened amr bin uh, uh, amr bin ubaid he came to al hasan al basri rahmatullah and said what do you say about the people who commit zina or who, who drink alcohol what do you say about them? Al Hassan al Basri, Rahmatullah said, they are mu'min, they are Muslims, but they are fasiq, they are doing fisk, they are disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but they are Muslim, they are mu'min. So, Amr bin Ubay said, no, they are not. They are not Muslims. Why? Because of the hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa in Bukhari. When a person, when the Zani is committing zina, when an adulterer is committing adultery, he is not a moment. His iman is gone. He has no iman at that moment when he's committing zina. What did the Khawarij do over here? Now, what is the difference between a Khawarij and a Mu'tazila over here? Khawarij, they say whoever commits a major sin is a kafir and needs to be killed at the spot. The Mu'tazila, they said, no, he's not a kafir, but, he, but he's not a moment also. What is he? He's in between. We will be silent about him. Khawarij they said, no, we are not silent. He's a kafir, K kill him. Mu'tazila said, no, no, we don't care about it. He's, he's somewhere, he's somewhere. Where? Allah wala. We don't know. Somewhere in the middle. Maybe there are stairs, Allah wala. So there is, this is the difference between them. And then Al-Hasan al-Basri, Rahmatullah said, then what will you say in Akhirah? What will he be in the hereafter? He said, he's a kafir there. So he said, how is in this world, he's not a kafir, but in the hereafter he's a kafir. How? He said, then what will you say about the shafa'ah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? The intercession of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. In which there is a hadith that